Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading for Thursday, the 22nd of February. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. This reading is for anyone who's guided. It's not for any particular sign. It's for all signs. What do we need to know? What are the messages? It's for anyone who resonates with it. Okay, we've got compromise, no, remain positive, yes. All right, so be careful about um, compromising in a situation that wouldn't do you good to, to compromise in. Like there, there might be um, something where it's like, don't compromise because that won't do you any good. Remain positive, yes. All right, let's find out what it is. Uh, this could be, this could be anything and you know don't compromise on your salary don't compromise on your job position don't compromise on a relationship don't compromise something don't compromise yourself right all right so this is uh angel answers we're going to be using the pre-raphaelite tarot deck very detailed beautiful deck and we're going to be using everyday witch tarot daily reading anyone who's guided daily reading what are the messages? All right. Okay. We've got the seven of cups and the seven of swords. Two sevens. Seven of swords is your central issue. Now this makes me believe that the reason they're telling you not to compromise on something is because somebody's being shady. Have to say it. So you can, it's up to you to make a decision, but they're saying, be careful, don't compromise yourself because this person's being shady. And also the strength card came out. Three of wands reverse came out. Empress came out. What else? Okay. And the knight of um cups came out all right so um well all right so somebody could come in with an apology you got a decision to make the seven of cups this could be an offer coming in but spirit says don't compromise when the offer comes in stick to your guns because somebody could be trying to get and this doesn't have to be anything major this could just be like somebody who's going to hire you but they're going to try to get away with paying you less than you deserve or you should be paid or something like that or this could be something more personal but that was just one tiny example all right strength is here we also have the three of wands here in the reverse we also have the empress here and like i said the knight of cups all right let's see what else we got at the bottom ten of swords at the bottom in the reverse so you this is reverse you might have gone through something with this person in the past and spirits saying be careful don't compromise because remember what they did the last time you ended up with ten swords in your back right so um just be warned be careful um be aware when you're making decisions make sure you stick to your guns you can remain positive and things will work out but don't compromise something spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know what are the messages what do we need to know what are the messages this is for this coming thursday for anyone who's guided compromise no remain positive yes Okay, let's take a look at that Seven of Swords right there in the middle. Seven of Swords, what do we need to know? Why is it? Okay, yeah, check that out. So the Three of Wands that's here reversed, it is reversed. Okay, the same Three of Wands is here in the upright with the world in reverse. So this really says to me that um there's something going on that's holding up this so we want the world to come in because we it's like a graduation day right where it's like we finally get to graduate an old cycle and go into a new one and that's always fresh and new and exciting there's something here about and i have to say that i feel whatever the magicians do and see how the three of wands is actually it's like a mini magician whatever they're doing see how the Magician is holding the wand out and it's keeping the world in reverse. Like it's not allowing this world to come in and change. There could be someone, Seven of Swords, and this is what I'm feeling coming off these cards. Someone who's keeping your ship from coming in. So this 
person's waiting for their ship to come in, but it's in reverse. So there's something here. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, somebody doing something to hold up progress in some way. Um, and this is the central issue. So this could be something that's already been going on. Because remember, that already happened, that Ten of Swords. So they're asking you to remember this. Like you're going to possibly have someone come in, cup in hand, really sweet. And Spirit's going, well, just try to remember what happened the last time before you just decide to compromise yourself or compromise whatever the situation is. Uh, in any way, we want you to be aware of the possibility that someone, you know, has been shady with you and we don't want this to happen to you again. So let's take a look at the Seven of Cups because this does appear to be your decision. Tell me about Seven of Cups and strength. It's like having the strength to decide something, having the strength to, I'm gonna look at them together. They surround the central issue. So they support in some way the, that central issue. Let me look at the Seven of Cups and the strength card together, please. Yeah, absolutely. The Eight of Wands came out. Uh, and you know, if you look closely, this is a little witch, uh, like spinning up a storm, you know, but it really is about, um, it could be about communication. It could be uh, agreeing to move forward. So um, just be careful because you don't want to communicate with somebody who stuck 10 swords in your back, or you don't want to move forward with somebody who stuck 10 swords in your back. And the strength here really is the decision to do something about it. I'm going to look at strength one more time. Can we just look at strength? Okay. Yeah, seven of pentacles and look at it again. Strength at the bottom again. All right, so this really leads me to believe that it ha could have something to do with a partnership, two of cups behind it. This person could be a Leo. We've got king of wands here as well, or you could be. There's something here about um, this person. It could be someone that you have some kind of a partnership with, any kind of partnership. It's two of cups. Um, and this could have been going on a long time. Uh, this could be something you've put a lot of time and effort and work into. Um, and Spirit just wants you to be careful and not compromise on something, but do remain positive with something else. So in other words, it's okay to remain positive, but don't compromise. I, I'm hoping that you all know what that means, or you will when it arrives. Remember, a lot of times we're watching tarot to, so that we know when it comes up, oh, wait a minute, let me think about this, right? So that this is, you're seeing it in advance. All right, let's look at the three of wands here reversed. What about the three of wands reversed? Here we go. The seven, no, I'm so sorry, the five of swords. Now, you've not only got the five of swords here, but you also have the knight of swords reversed at the bottom, which really is my liar, liar, pants on fire, especially when it comes out with the five of swords. This feels to me like someone, remember, we have the same energy of the three of wands here being purposefully blocked by someone. All right, and I'm getting that same exact energy off of this where someone is purposefully blocking that three of wands. This is someone who is lying or there's something here about a block in place and it's blocking, it's like blocking your blessings, okay? So, you know, your blessing is the thing that you want, your ship to come in. That's what we do. We manifest in our ship to come in, but yours is being blocked and it seems to be being blocked purposefully. Um, unless you're sabotaging yourself, which is possible, but I truly believe someone, High Priestess and Page of Swords, again in reverse, this really again, reiterating someone's lying, their secrets. There's something about this. Let me look at this um, Empress. Why is the Empress here? This could be you or someone else. Tell me about the Empress. Okay. 
Ah, oh, there we go. We've got it. They two of pentacles and the four of pentacles reversed. Exactly. This is I decide to something, release something. Uh, the four of pentacles, something we're holding on to for dear life. Look at them. They're, this person's like, no, 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 I'm not letting go. Decision to release something. This is going to be, and I feel like it's this, you know, empress, probably you or someone else that um, has to make a decision to release something. This also could be um, somebody releasing something to her. This could be um, whoever. This also could be truth coming out, I'm getting. Like somebody releasing truth to her. It could be about work because we have the three of pentacles and we have the empress again. Uh, so this could be you or someone else Knight of Cups looks like they're apologizing, especially in this deck. I want to look at the, I'm sorry, that it is the page in this deck, the page of cups. And they do look like they're kind of like bowing to apologize. Also, devil reverses at the bottom. That's another card just like this, four of pentacles of releasing something. Um, let me get a look at this page of cups, please. Page of cups. What do we need to know? three of swords. Okay. So this could have been, I really do feel like somebody did somebody dirty here and I do, that's possible. And this isn't the first time this week we've had an apology come in from someone about something they did. So I'm going to look at it again. Tell me about page of cups, three of swords, page of cups, three of swords. We have a lot of threes coming out in this reading. So this could even have been some kind of third party or group related situation. Like this could be more than one person who was lying and, you know, conniving. It, it could be group or third party. Let me look at the page of cups one more time. What's most important that we should know about page of cups? Yeah, they're coming in to heal that three. The four of swords wants to heal the three of swords and they're coming in with the offer of healing a situation, whether it's emotional, whether it's financial, whatever it is, they're both here. Um, I definitely feel someone wants to like make something right. But again, spirit says don't compromise because that's when you're going to get the real results. I don't know what that means. So I hope that you, it's probably going to be totally different for each of you. So use your own judgment. Make sure that you're using your intuition as the high priestess here with the decisions that you make. Comment down below, guys. Please don't forget to like this video. I appreciate you. Talk to you soon. Bye.